Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to 30 Days of Thanks, where we are spending time giving God thanks for the month of November. We have been journeying through each day, and today is the 20th day, and we will be going until the end of the month. So there are only 10 more days, but it's enough time for you to join and just be grateful to God for anything that's on your heart and your mind. It's not just about Thanksgiving, the day that we spend in America celebrating and giving thanks for whatever the purpose is, actually. I don't even know. But we ought to give thanks every day to God for everything, whether blessing, whether trial, whether tribulation, because he is our creator, and without him, where would we be? So we are coming this morning giving thanks for those that we call friends, right, those that God has sent and established in our lives to either help us or push us to our next to either fill a hole or a gap or space in time that we needed them for comfort or for peace. The friends that we've had for 20, 30, 40 plus years, we're coming God and giving him thanks for these helpmates that essentially come along and just help us, right? In any way, in any, in any way that they can. So God, we come thanking you for who you are. Lord God, we thank you for being a God of peace, a God of love, a God of joy. Father, that you are established in heavenly places. Thank you for your supernatural power, your supernatural being. Lord God, I thank you for your your ways that you have established, your construct, the steps that you've ordered before us. Thank you, Father, that you are our guide and that you are our comforter. Thank you, Father, for how you knit people breast to breast and chest to chest. Thank you for relationships that you establish in heavenly places and wait for them to manifest here on earth. Thank you, God, for how you move amongst your people, for how you encourage us, God, for how you push us and want us to go beyond what we see, what we feel, how we think, God. We thank you this day, Father, for you have established us to do great things. You have established us to do greater works than you. You have called us to be full of compassion. You have called us to be full of kindness, of humility, gentleness, and patience. Thank you for each fruit of the Spirit that you develop in us and through us, God. Thank you for how you use other people to encourage us. Thank you, Father, for how you send others our way, Lord God, where we may be having difficulty, where we may need encouragement, where we may need our heads lifted up, where we may need someone to show us the way, God, you have someone in mind. Father, we thank you today for those friends that you invited into our lives, those friends that are godly relationships, those friends that create and establish godly soul ties. Thank you, Father, for those people that we can even call family. Father God, we thank you that they may not be of blood, but they are of kingdom. So, Lord, we thank you that they were already established as a friend for us before we were even established here on earth. Thank you, God, that you sent them to, that we can encourage one another and build each other up, Father. Thank you that even though life is hard, that we have someone that we can turn to when it gets difficult. We have someone that we can turn to even when we we feel as if we're lonely. We have someone that we can speak to, Lord God, and release the things that are, we are feeling that we have in our mind that we've been holding on to, Lord God. Father, we thank you that we will not be misled by bad company and have them corrupt our character, but, Lord, we will discern the friends that we have in our lives. We will discern those that we invite in, Lord God. We know that there are people that will use us. They will be abusing us, and then they will turn around and refuse us, God, so we don't want to choose people, Lord God, that would just be toxic or 
affect our lives even further, cause us to spout into a place of rejection and into a place of depression, but God, that we would be wise with the friends that we choose and those that we keep near us. God, we thank you for those friends that even push us into the word of God, those that help us to study, those that help us, Lord God, to understand and break down the context and the construct of the scriptures. Father God, people that we can bounce the scripture off of, that we can discuss and get further clarification. Oh God, we thank you even now for those friends that even maybe have pushed us into religion and they may have walked away, God. We thank you, Father, that they caused us, Lord God, to look at you, to even look in your direction. Thank you that you will even grasp them and turn them back on the right path. Father, we pray now thanking you for friends that come in like family members. Father, those that come and help us during times of surgery, those that help us during times of need, those that help us. They come into our homes and they spend time with us, even in our grieving process. They come, they hold us, God. They engulf, they embrace us and they they present the love of the Father to us. Father, we thank you for those friends that go above and beyond their means. They go above and beyond their emotional status. They go above and beyond themselves, Lord God. Why? Because you orchestrated that relationship. Thank you for friends, Lord God, that we don't even see it coming Father, we don't even see it coming, the relationship that you've established with them. We don't see it coming, that they fulfill a purpose and a plan and a space in our lives, God, that we can never get from anyone else. Thank you for those friends that leave nuggets in our lives. Thank you for those friends that drop um, they drop information upon us, Lord God, that make us think differently. Father, we thank you for those friends that give us wise counsel. Thank you for those friends that open up doors that we could never open. Thank you for those friends, Father, that we never saw coming. Father God, we thank you. And even in the midst of friendship, sometimes there's a disagreement. But God, you said to bear with each other and forgive one another. If any of us have a grievance against someone, so, Lord, we thank you that we have the ability to forgive each other. We thank you that we have the ability, Lord God, to put aside our differences and to result and get a, res- uh, a resolution, Lord God. We thank you this morning, Lord God, for those that we have spent years and years and years in friendship with, Lord God, and each and every time that there is a disagreement, God, that there has been a resolution. Thank you for their faithfulness. Thank you, Father, that they don't give up on us, even though sometimes we may give up on them. Thank you, God, that they watch our back even when we don't know it. Thank you that they're thinking about our best interests when we may not necessarily be doing the same. Father God, thank you for those friends that tell us that we need counseling, that we need help, that they can't necessarily be there and be that person for us, but we need someone that can give us what it is that will make us better. Thank you for those friends that tell us to go to the pastor to get help that we need, Father, get the love and the support that we need. Father God, we thank you for those friends that know the 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 system, the state systems, the programs that are needed, Lord God, for welfare and rental help and um, food inequalities and things of those nature. Thank you for those, Lord God, that have the in, that have direction, that have wisdom, those that are social workers, those that can help guide us in ways that we didn't know that we had opportunities. Father, we thank you for those people, Lord God, that have the ability, oh God, to get us into places and spaces that we never imagined. Thank you for those that you said, Lord God, that two are better than one. Father, that our labor would be not in vain, but it would give us a good return. Thank you that you help you, you give us helpmates, Lord God, in a, in a manner of friendship that help us to create and establish the vision that you have given us here, Lord God. Thank you. Father, that they're willing to put their hands to the plow and they're willing to get dirty with us alongside us, Father. Thank you 
for those friends that even in the midst of doing the hard work and the hard labor, they're not even looking for a penny. They're not looking for a financial blessing. They're not looking for it, but they're just wanting to support your vision, wanting to support your idea. Thank you for those friends, Lord God, that are committed that are humble, Lord God, that they can even admit when they're wrong. Thank you for those friends that walk in your joy, walk in your peace, walk in your understanding. Father, thank you that even when their friends fall down, God, that they're there to pick them up, that they're there to reach out and give them a helping hand. Thank you, Father, that kindness is knitted in friendship. Thank you that goodness and gentleness is knitted in friendship. Thank you, Father God, that compassion is knitted in friendship. Lord, that our ways would not supersede your ways, but, God, that we are here to help one another. We are here to be brethren to one another. We are here, Lord God, to help build each other up, encourage one another, Lord God, push each other into the destiny that you have established before us. Father, thank you for those friendships that we can pray, pray over their lives and intercede when times get tough and intercede when they need something, when they need breakthrough, friends that we can spend time fasting for and laboring for in prayer. Thank you for these relationships that you are solidifying here on earth. God, thank you that we have each other to push to get through what may seem difficult in you. God, we thank you for each other. We are thankful Father God, that we don't have friends that gossip. We don't have friends that stir up conflict. We don't have friends, God, that tear us away from the scriptures, but we have friends that are, that are soundly, foundationally placed in you, God. We are thankful for those that we call a friend, those that are reliable, those that are pleasant, those, God, that give heartfelt advice, those, Lord God, that don't want to bring us to ruin, but those that want to help in the process of building us up, allowing us to be who you've called us to be. Thank you for the unity and the harmony between friends. This is our thanks offering today, God. This is our thanks that we love one another just as you loved us, Father, that we won't place any friend above you, but God, that there will be a love like you love us, God. We thank you that we won't idolize our friends. We won't place them in positions on, on pedestals, Father, but instead we will honor them for who they are in their respective places, but that you receive all the glory and all the honor. God, we thank you that those that you have invited into our lives, God, the, the impact that we make on each other, God, would affect the legacy of our children. Thank you, Lord God, that they would show up in our children. Thank you for those friends that even watch after our children when we leave this earth, those that step in and say, I will do what they would have wanted me to, those that take roles and positions that they didn't have to do, but they choose to out of the covenant relationship that has been established between friends. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, for the friendship. Thank you, Lord. Lord, thank you for those that are listening to this call currently and those that will listen in the replay, God, that you would watch over them. You would protect them and keep them in your perfect peace. God, we thank you that you watch over us in in our going out and in our coming in. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining for 30 Days of Thanks. We are here every morning just giving God thanks at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Tell somebody.